Have you ever thought about why organizational security, both in hardware and software, is so crucial in today's digital age? Picture this, we're living in a world where our dependence on digital systems is at an all-time high. From simple everyday tasks to complex operations, we rely heavily on these systems to carry out our functions. But with this convenience comes a set of risks. Every day, businesses, nonprofits, and government agencies alike face a barrage of cyber threats. These threats are not just limited to software, but they extend to hardware as well. Hackers are always on the lookout for vulnerabilities they can exploit. And these vulnerabilities can be as simple as an outdated piece of software or a poorly secured piece of hardware. These threats and vulnerabilities pose a significant risk to an organization's integrity. A single breach can lead to data theft, financial loss, and even damage an organization's reputation. And it's not just about the immediate impact. The long-term consequences of a security breach can be devastating, leading to loss of trust and potentially even legal ramifications. Now let's consider the importance of maintaining security in both hardware and software aspects. Think of hardware and software as the two pillars holding up your organization's security. If one pillar is weak, the entire structure is at risk. Both hardware and software must be fortified with robust security measures to withstand potential attacks. In the case of hardware, this could mean implementing physical security controls, using secure network devices, and regularly updating and patching systems. For software, it involves using secure coding practices, regularly updating and patching software, and employing robust antivirus and anti-malware solutions. In this era of increasing cyber threats, the importance of organizational security cannot be overstated. It's not just about protecting your organization's assets, but also about safeguarding the trust and confidence of those who rely on your services. With the rise of cyber threats, ensuring the security of an organization's hardware and software has never been more critical. In order to fully understand the significance of organizational security, we must first dissect its two main components, hardware security and software security. Let's start with hardware security. This encompasses the physical measures taken to protect our devices and systems from physical attacks or damage. This could be as simple as locking the server room door or as complex as implementing biometric access controls. But it's not just about physical security. It also involves secure device configurations. This means setting up our devices with the right security settings to prevent unauthorized access or tampering. It could be as straightforward as setting up a strong password or as intricate as configuring firewall rules. Now let's move on to software security. This is all about ensuring our software is designed and maintained to resist attacks. A key part of this is secure coding practices. This means writing our code in a way that minimizes the risk of security vulnerabilities. It's about thinking ahead and anticipating potential threats while we're still in the coding stage. But software security doesn't end when the coding does. It's also about regular updates. This is because threats are constantly evolving and our software needs to keep pace. Regular updates ensure we're protected against the latest known threats and vulnerabilities. And of course, let's not forget about robust security protocols. These are the rules and procedures that govern how our software behaves in various situations. They can include everything from how our software responds to a detected threat to how it handles user authentication. So as you can see, hardware security and software security are two sides of the same coin. They're both essential in protecting our organizations from a wide range of threats, but they're also deeply interconnected. The security of our software often depends on the security of our hardware and vice versa. Both hardware and software security are essential pillars of a comprehensive and effective organizational security strategy. Let's delve into a real life scenario to see how efficient hardware and software security measures can make a significant difference. Imagine a company, let's call it Tech Titan. This company is a leader in the tech industry, handling vast amounts of sensitive data daily. Tech Titan was aware of the increasing cyber threats and decided to overhaul its security measures. First, Tech Titan focused on hardware security. They implemented a multi-layered defense strategy, starting with a robust firewall to block unauthorized access. 
They also invested in cutting-edge intrusion detection systems. These systems were designed to identify and thwart any suspicious activities, preventing them from causing damage. But they didn't stop there. They also secured their physical equipment, implementing biometric authentication on all devices to ensure only authorized personnel could access them. Next, they turned their attention to software security. Tech Titan launched a comprehensive software update policy, ensuring all software was patched and up-to-date, closing any potential security loopholes. They also invested in advanced antivirus and anti-malware solutions, regularly scanning their systems to identify and neutralize any threats. These measures didn't just protect Tech Titan from external threats, they also guarded against internal risks. By implementing access control measures, the company ensured that employees could only access the data necessary for their roles, reducing the risk of insider threats. And the result? Tech Titan successfully mitigated cyber threats, keeping its data secure and its operations running smoothly. There were attempts, of course. Hackers tried to infiltrate their systems, but thanks to the robust security measures, these attempts were unsuccessful. So, what can we learn from Tech Titan? Well, it's clear that an investment in both hardware and software security can pay dividends. Effective security measures can prevent data breaches, protect sensitive information, and even save a company from the potentially disastrous consequences of a successful cyber attack. As this case study demonstrates, the right security measures can protect an organization from potentially disastrous cyber threats. Knowing the importance of hardware and software security is one thing, but how do you actually implement it in your organization? Let's break it down. It all begins with regular security audits. This process involves a thorough analysis of your organization's systems and networks to identify potential vulnerabilities. It's like a health checkup, but for your IT infrastructure. These audits should be conducted periodically to ensure that your organization's security measures are up to date and effective against the ever evolving cyber threats. Next up, we have strict access control. This is about limiting who can access your organization's data and systems. Not everyone in your company needs access to all information. By enforcing strict access control, you're reducing the number of potential entry points for a cyber attacker. Think about it like this. You wouldn't give the keys to your house to just anyone, right? The same principle applies here. But it's not just about the technical aspect. Promoting a culture of security awareness among employees is equally important. Cybersecurity is not solely an IT department's responsibility. It's a collective effort. Everyone in the organization should understand the importance of security and their role in maintaining it. Regular training sessions can help in this regard, ensuring that all employees are aware of the latest threats and know how to respond. Remember, hardware and software are not the only targets of cyber attacks. Human errors or lack of awareness can also lead to serious security breaches. Hence, nurturing a security-conscious culture within the organization is paramount. Lastly, always have a robust incident response plan in place. In the unfortunate event of a security breach, you need to be prepared to respond quickly and effectively. This includes identifying the breach, containing it, and recovering from it, all while minimizing the damage and downtime. Implementing these practices can significantly enhance your organization's resilience against cyber threats. And that's what we're all aiming for, isn't it? To build an organization that's not just secure, but resilient. A fortress in the digital world. So, what have we learned about the importance of hardware and software security in organizations today? Quite a lot, as it turns out. We've spent the last few minutes exploring the significance of robust organizational security, and now it's time to summarize the key points we've touched upon. Firstly, we've seen that organizational security is a multifaceted concept. It's not just about installing the latest antivirus software or using complex passwords. Those are certainly important, but true security comes from a comprehensive approach that includes both hardware and software protection. It's about creating a secure digital environment from the ground up. From this perspective, we've delved into the pillars of organizational security. We've seen how data protection, infrastructure security, network safeguards, and user education each play a vital role in shaping a secure organization. 
Together, these components form a sturdy bulwark against potential threats, from data breaches to cyber attacks. We've also examined the impact of effective security measures. Strong defenses do more than just ward off cyber criminals. They also contribute to an organization's reputation, customer trust, and overall business continuity. It's clear that the benefits of effective security measures extend far beyond the IT department. Moreover, we've highlighted some best practices for implementing a comprehensive security strategy. These include regular system audits, up-to-date security software, stringent access controls, and ongoing staff training. By adhering to these practices, organizations can significantly reduce their vulnerability to cyber threats. In conclusion, the importance of hardware and software security in today's organizations cannot be overstated. As we continue to navigate the digital age, we must remember that a robust organizational security strategy isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. With the right measures in place, organizations can protect their valuable data, maintain their operational integrity, and foster a secure digital environment for all. Remember, in today's digital age, a robust organizational security strategy isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity.